This is just a recap, and then we'll do some arithmetic with this. Right, so the mantissa is the detail of the number. The exponent represents the size of the number. Okay? So whenever we start and we get asked to write down a number in a particular format, it's very important, and I've written this the wrong way around on purpose. Normally I tell you the mantissa first. But the example can do what they want. Okay? They don't have to, but they generally will. They don't have to put the mantissa bits first before the exponent bits. So be careful how you read it. Okay? But anyway, so we want to write this down. So we start off and put a binary point. We're going to just do it in two's complement. Okay? So we need to make sure that we keep this number positive. So let's just put a few bits in for the integer part, even though there isn't one, and let's put some fractional ones in. Remember you just, as you go that way, you divide it by two, if you go this way, you multiply by two. Okay, so whichever way you want to think about that. So to write down a quarter, we're going to make it positive, let's just fill all the bit positions in, and then we want a quarter. Well that one's nice and easy to write, so it should look like that. Okay. What we want to do is we want to normalise. So whenever we're holding floating point values, we want to maximise the precision. Because we've only got so many bits for the detail. And we do that by making sure that following the sign bit, we have a 1. So we move the binary point so that we go sign bit, and then the detail of the number. The first one in a positive number will be a significant bit. Okay? So all of these noughts, they're all meaningless. So we just look for the last sign bit value of naught. So we work from this way, we go, right, okay, the binary point needs to go there. So as, if they ask you, is this number normalised, you can check because you know that the first two bits will be different. If it's a naught and then a one, you know it's a positive normalised number. If it's a one, then a naught, then you know it's a negative normalised number. Okay, so we're going to move the binary point that way. And we're going to put it there. And we're always, when we do the working out on these, we're always going to put the arrow showing which way we move. If you do that, they'll think you're just doing some weird clown picture or something. Okay? Very slanted clown. Um, but you're going to put an arrow on say, I moved it that way. And you can do it for yourself as well. Right, so we've got six bits for the mantis. So all these noughts are meaningless. So we're just going to write down 0 0.10. And we've got six bits, so we have to fill the rest in. So that's my mantissa. And I will get marks for being able to correctly create a normalised mantissa. Now, when we did this, we moved the binary point one position. So the exponent is going to be one, but we need to know whether it's negative or positive one. This number, because we went that way, we have actually made this number one position bigger. So when we read this back and want to know what number it is, we need to make it smaller. If we're going to make it smaller, we make the exponent negative. So the exponent is going to be negative 1. Now we know what negative 1 is. So it's going to be... Oh, my pen's running out. That. So that is going to be my exponent. Now we're going to convert this back so we can see. So that's my exponent. And you will get marks for just getting the exponent correct. So never give up on these questions. Because this number is bigger than what it is. That doesn't represent a quarter if we were to just read that. Okay, so we need to make it one position smaller. So let's look at that. Let's convert this back. So whenever we get a number in a format, we look at what the format says. Six bits for mantissa. And it won't have a binary point. They don't have to put that in. It's implied. So we put that in ourselves. We're going to put that in. Four bits for the exponent. We always start with the exponent. So we work out the exponent. We say, oh, it's minus one. Now we know that minus one means make this number smaller. So we're going to move the binary point this way. 
Okay, now let's put, just put a load of leading zero so we don't get confused. And move the binary point this way. So again, we put the arrow on. We say, right, that's actually where the binary point is. So these are all the integer bits. These are where we start writing the fractions. We don't need to go any further because they're all zeros. And we can see that this is one quarter. And they're not going to be mean and say, without a calculator, convert this fraction to decimal. Because it might be a horrible decimal. But it is actually, yeah, we can see it's 0.25. Okay. So remember, that's what we're dealing with. Normalised numbers. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at a bit of arithmetic. And the normalising thing comes back into play here. So let's have a look at, we're just going to do positive numbers, not going to scare you with negatives. So let's have 0.1, I'll use that format still, so that's four, five, six bits, and we're going to have that. So we're going to add that number, I'm going to put my plus over here this time, and we're going to add it to this number. If we look at the mantises, they look the same. But the exponents are different. Okay. So the three steps to adding up a floating point number. Step one, we need to make... Oh, that's a very bad M. I'd gone on to about the third word that I was going to say there. Um, so what we need to do, first of all, step one, we're going to make sure that the exponents are the same. Okay. Which means moving the binary points. No different to if you're doing a decimal number. Let's say you add 1.5 and you wanted to add to it 17.5. Uh, you wouldn't just take it like that. You'd line them up. You'd go oh, 1.5, put the points in the same place, like that. You'd make sure they're lined up. And we have to do the same thing before we start adding. If you just add those two together, and I add those two together, you're going to get a lot of old rubbish. So you can't do that. Right, so this has got an exponent of 1. So that is plus 1, that is plus 3. Which number's bigger? This one, the second one, yeah? Because it's plus 3, the exponent's large. So we just need to make them the same. It's up to you. What you can do is you can completely unnormalize them and shift them. So you could do this. So you could say, right, let's take that first number, 0 0.10001. We need to make it one bigger. So we're going to move the binary point that way. So we're going to go, put the binary point there. The next one, same number in the detail part, but we need to shift it three places. So we go one, two, three. Okay, so we've actually got our two numbers now, and you can see that they're different numbers. So we've got 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and we have got, putting the dots in the same place, we've actually got 0, 0, 1. No, no. The, the notes we can just pad off. What's the answer? Fine. Because that one represented 1, this one, even though this bit looks the same, it actually represented 4. So the answer is 5. And you know that because you just did binary addition, just like we've just done. So we go, when we we'll start over here, no, 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 dot, not and 1 is 1, not and not is not, not and 1, oops, not and 1 is 1. So we get 5. That's not the answer. So you need to, now that's not the answer because we've got to put it back in floating point format. That isn't. That's not in floating point format. Not normalised. Okay. Our numbers in floating point format have to be less than 1. That isn't. That's 5, isn't it? We've got to shift it about again. Okay. So step 1 is to equalise the exponents by moving the bits 
that's moving the points. So I move the boundary point. Oh, I'll keep going, pen. I'll write slower. Then we can do the addition. But then what we've got to do is normalize. Keep going, pen. Oh, I'll get the blue pen. It's done awful now. Right, so let's have a look at that number. I'm going to write it down here so it's a bit clearer. So I've got 101. It's a positive number, so I'm going to pad it with some zeros at the front. But I need to normalise it. So we said normalising means putting the binary point in between the first significant digit and the sign bit. So if we walk from this edge, this is a positive number, so noughts, all the leading noughts, to there. The binary point needs to go there. Yep. So I'm going to do one, two, three. So I get for my mantissa 0 0.101, and we've only got six bits, zero, zero. So that is my normalized mantissa, but I need to work out what the exponent is. Right, so at the minute, <coughs> because I, I completely unnormalized these numbers and ended up with an exponent of zero, which is a sensible way of doing it, all I've got to do is say, right, okay, I have made this number smaller, so when I come back to read it, I need a positive exponent. Three places. So my exponent is three. Very slick, Harrison. I've just mentioned you on camera. <laughs> okay, so you must not forget that final step. The addition bit, you can see it's trivial. So the floating point, it just is, it's exactly the same as doing integers, just that all we're doing is make sure the exponents are equal, then you can do your addition, then you normalise. So if I was to give you, you had a question like this. Let's say we had uh, 0 0.111, that's 6, and we had that, and we had 0 0.01, uh, no, I know it's not do that, let's do, let's just make it that, and we had would we have to do the first step if we wanted to add those two numbers together? Commit, yes or no? No. Why? Go on, I'll put it on the spot now, Casper. Because the exponents are the same. The exponents are the same. So the numbers already are lined up. Okay? So I can just add that up. So I can just say it's 0 0.11100. Oh, and the exponent will be 2 still. So basically I'm adding an eighth to three quarters. In raw terms, obviously it's not, it's bigger than that. Two places bigger than that. Do I need to normalize it? No. Why? Because it's less than zero. No. It's already normalized. It's already normalized. Yeah, correct. Because those Leading two bits are different. It's automatically it's normalised. Yeah? Right. Let me give you some of these to have a go at. These are... We'll carry these on tomorrow because this isn't necessarily trivial because there's multiple steps. But I'll leave that up on there. And what I'll do is I'll go through some more, more examples tomorrow.